So let's go into the five ways to get high on your own supply. Number one, and I did this in 2015 and my business doubled just by doing this. Number one is you must schedule it. Whatever it is, it must be scheduled into your life. It must be a part of your life. It must be something that is a non-negotiable. You must have boundaries around your joy, your play, your creativity. I remember we were in the middle of a launch and uh, <laughs> my, my alarm went off because I, made, I d- decided that for the entire year of 2015 that I was going to play every single day, no matter what. So my, my play alarm went off. And we had a lot to do. And Alexi was like, where are you going? And I'm like, to skateboard. She was like, wait, what? What do you mean to skateboard? Like we, we have an entire launch. We're still, we have emails to respond to. We have all kinds of stuff. And I said, I get it. I get it. But I'm a commitment to play. No joke, no lie. While I was skateboarding, something beautiful, something magical came through uh, as it pertained to our business. And Forget that. The frequency from which I walked back in that door with was one of openness and presence and joy and love and connectedness. And that, mm, everything on our planet is vibrating. What vibration do you think I was calling in? What vibration was I uh, emitting to her and anybody I came in contact with? It was the vibration of love. Oh my God. Number one, you must schedule it. Number two, is you must gamify it. Like I mentioned earlier, play with your edges. Play with your edges. If you're used to maybe experiencing joy at the most for 10, 15 minutes before a negative thought comes in and you ride that wave and you're gone into whatever other emotion you find yourself in, play with daily, right? Since we're scheduling it. Okay, 10 minutes is about my max. Let's make it 12. Let's make it 12 today. Let's make it 15 today. All of a sudden, you'll be up to two hours of just pure, unadulterated vibration and love. Ooh, it's so good. Gameify the thing. Give yourself goals to play with. Number three, this one is highly underrated. Most of us are chest breathers. So the game is to breathe into the bottom of your belly, expanding your entire stomach like you are a beautiful five-month pregnant queen. You want to expand your body, your entire, breathe all the way into your balls, your lady balls, your man balls, all of it. You want to breathe as deep as possible and just give yourself space. The more oxygen you have in your brain and body, the more choices you have for making uh, decisions that are in alignment with the truth of your being. Number four, get physical. I know some of you guys live in places where maybe it's extremely hot or extremely cold. Whatever it is, get physical. If you had to run up and down a hallway every day, do that. If you have to walk circles in your apartment and do sit-ups and push-ups, do that. One of my favorites is turning on a piece of music that inspires me or calls me forward, something that's sensual or sexy or something that's got me hyped. Turn down for what? Doom, 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 doom. Like whatever that is, let your, get in your body, guys. Get in your body. Three centers of intelligence, head, heart, gut, really mind, heart, gut. Uh, and, And we all try to figure everything out from the mind, but the gut and the heart and the rest of the body has its own intelligence. Let's, let's get in there. Let's shake it up. Let's feel it. Let's extend our awareness into our bodies. Oh, so good. Number five. This is one of my favorites. This is a lot of where my work is. Number five is you must slow down to the speed of wisdom. You must slow down to the speed of wisdom. You want to get high on your own supply? Stop and listen. B. In the Vedas, they say, sit in it until it's charming. Until it's charming. AKA until you know that you either need to go left, right, straight, or remain. 
whatever it is, sit, be still, and know that I am God. That's in the Bible. In conversations with God, he said, if you don't go within, you will go without. Be still, be still, be still. Listen, slow down, slow down, slow down. Very easy to get distracted in this world. I'm reminding you, reminding me, reminding us to slow down and ride the wave. There's something, there's an intelligence, there's a a still small voice trying to speak to, through, and as each and every one of us. But can you hear it? Do you have too many distractions, too many bells and whistles, too many things, ding, ding, going off? Are you distracting yourself by scrolling non-fucking stop? What is happening? Slow down to the speed of wisdom and listen. There is a message that is particularly sent from the ethers, from the higher self, from God, from Jesus, whatever you want to call that thing. It has a message for you. The question is, is are you available? I'm telling you what I know to be truth. Are you available for what spirit is trying to mm, convey through you, through your life, through your business, through your family, through your energy? Are you available for that? This is where the magic all happens. Get high on your own supply. Yes, plant medicine. Yes, uh, Molly. Yes, whatever you want to do. Yes, yes, yes. And more yes. Church tongues, whatever you want to do, and stop. Do it yourself. Because if you're just going to those things, then you're giving those things your power. Where I sit, you have your own power. Where I sit, you bring your own weather. You don't wait for the weather. You bring the weather. You bring the storms. You bring the sunshine. You bring it all. And you fertilize your own garden with your own loving powerful, deep, connected energy. Ooh, I am feeling it today. Life is absolutely beautiful. It can be tragic as well. At times, given how we look at it. But for me, it's all beautiful. You just got to say yes. Yes, and thank you. (laughs) 